What the heck? What are we doing? A cooking video? I haven't done a cooking video in a while. Hello everybody, welcome back to my kitchen after over like a year or something. Let's not talk about it. I got asked about this marinade recipe, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this marinade recipe. It's one my mom used to make when I was a young lad. I make it like constantly. It's one of the best marinades you'll ever have. I think it's like from Paula Deen or something. I can't really remember, but this is what we're gonna do. All right, so it's a jalapeno sweet soy sauce. We got good silver silver swan soy sauce, the Filipino gem. We got a little bit of honey. I got six jalapenos, two whole limes, whole head of garlic, and some cilantro. So that's, let's, let's do the thing. Let's do the things. Has anybody ever done this with the garlic? Taking all of them, throw them in a bowl. I see it on the internet. Let's find out. <coughs> all right, big bowl, little bowl. One hour later. All right, let's see if that worked. I mean, no. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. All right, now that we have all of our garlic finally peeled, there's about 14 cloves of garlic in here. If you don't like a lot of garlic, we'll just cut that in half. If you like a lot of garlic, we'll use a whole head. I'm gonna throw that into the blender with the jalapenos. If you have a powerful blender, you don't have to do this, but I have to cut them up into pieces because we have a cheapo little Hamilton Beach blender that doesn't blend anything. So we're just, I'm just making it easier for the blender to blend and I dropped the jalapeno because I'm an idiot. See, we're just cutting it up into pieces. Jalapenos in, all six of them. Whole thing of cilantro, jam it in. Nope, hold up. They tried to get me, you see that? You see that little scallywag? Look at this. Ew, pick through your cilantro. There might be bugs or something. Well, that's no fun. Cilantro in. Now, we have the juice of two limes. You do this because it breaks open the, the lime juice uh, thingies inside. Also, don't make fun of the dullness of my knife. I have to sharpen it. You see that? Look at that. Also, because some people thought that you were supposed to put the lime like this, you're not. You're supposed to put it like this, and it gets all the lime juice out. Look at that. Two whole limes in. And now, this is the part that I don't actually know the ratio or the amount. I just kind of look at it. So we got a little bit of honey. Um, I'm going to say one, two, Three, that was three and a half. Four squeezes of honey. That's what my brain is telling me. And then I'll try and measure this with a cup to see what's going on. So we'll start with a cup. There's some dark soy sauce right there. One cup. Mm, that looks kind of all right. We'll do a cup and a half because I'm putting more chicken in. Cup and a half of soy sauce. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna blend it up. And. I told you it's an amazing, it's an amazing blender. And there it is, the marinade. So let's get it on the chicken, okay? And if you want, you can throw these lime peels in the, in the mix. All right, so I'm using good old fashioned chicken thighs. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And we're gonna throw them on the smoker later today. Also, this will be the fun part. I see it in comments constantly on food videos about people saying, why don't you rinse your chicken? Ew, you didn't rinse your chicken? Ew, you rinsed your chicken, or you didn't rinse your chicken? Guess what? You know I have to rinse your chicken. It's actually a bad idea to rinse your chicken because it splatters chicken juice and bacteria all over your sink all over your kitchen, and the bacteria that would be on this chicken, or just whatever's on it, is gonna cook out. Bacteria dies at 140 to 165 degrees, and that's the cooking temperature of chicken. There you go, I just saved you guys some time. See the comments though, saying, ew, you don't rinse your chicken? Watch, watch, it's just gonna be there. But I have about three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs going into a little bag. Take that, get rid of it. And then I got two chicken breasts because I had them left afterwards. Those are going in there too. Because this is all the chicken I'm eating for an entire week. We're gonna take these three limes. It's unnecessary, but you know what? It can't hurt anything. 
Throw those in the bag. Let me wash my hands. Ow, it's hot water, as it should be. Now we're just gonna add this in here. Hopefully there's no holes in this bag. I didn't think about it. Is there a hole? Unfortunately, there is a hole in these cheapo bags. So it's just going into a bowl. It's not gonna hurt anything. Well, we're just gonna, it's a mess. Watch this, here we go. Oh my God, please don't ruin my marinade. It's completely fine. Now you have room to actually massage the marinade into the chicken for a little bit. Look at all that. Cause all that garlic, we got the garlic, we got the sourness from the limes, you got the saltiness from the soy sauce, spiciness from the jalapenos. Cilantro makes it green. I don't know what else it really does to it. There we go. Now, you can let it sit overnight. I'm gonna let it sit for like five, six hours cause uh, it's Sunday and I need this for tomorrow. Gotta throw it on the grill. If you use your hands the way I did, make sure you doubly wash them, not only cause it's chicken, but there's jalapenos in this and it's gonna burn everything on your entire body. So this is gonna get wrapped up, thrown in the fridge. We're gonna go out and do things and a few hours later, throw it on the grill. We'll be back. Boom, there it is. It's been six hours and it looks exactly the same, but it's not the same. It's been marinating for six hours, so. I'm telling you, once you smell this, this marinade, you're gonna understand how good it is. But I do have the smoker going out there. Uh, we got hickory pellets, 300 degrees. We're gonna smoke these for, I don't know, like an hour, whenever they get done. You guys are gonna see how great this looks. And then when you make it, you're gonna realize how good it tastes. So let's go to the smoker with the chicken. I'm walking away from it. <laughs> you see how good this looks? Look at this. You can see all the jalapeno pieces, the cilantro. The soy sauce is soaked into the chicken. That's why it's darker. It's beautiful. We got the pit boss here. Oh, it smells fantastic. Look at that. These are giant chicken thighs too, by the way. Come on. That's a chicken breast. Look at that. It's beautiful. We shall let that smoke for, I don't know, some time. I'll let you know. All right, so it's been about 40 minutes, and I think they're done. Take a little gander at these hot things. Just hickory smoked chicken. God dang, look at that. Yeah, I'd say they're done. Got a nice golden color on them. It's, it's fogging up my lens, it's pretty great. Look at this hot thing. Sheesh. Oh yeah. There it is. It looks super good. It smells super good as well. And there it is. We've done it. It's done, it took less than an hour. It took about 45 to 50 minutes on the smoker, 300 degrees. And they look fantastic. They smell great. They're cooked perfectly. That's jalapeno chicken for you. That's, that's what it's called. It's called jalapeno chicken. I realized I didn't say that earlier of what this, this is called. Hey, this is called jalapeno chicken. This is a great marinade. It's delicious, not just on chicken, you can use it on beef, pork, fish, literally whatever you want, just do it. And it's one of the greatest. And this is what I'm eating every day for lunch. This chicken with some vegetables, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna put it in my, my omelets in the morning. It's just chicken, it's protein to go. I'm gonna find a piece. I'm gonna find a hot piece to eat. Oh God, it's so hot. Look at that. Yeah, it's the best, okay? There it is. Good God. And that's not me really paying attention to what I put into it. But anyway, yeah, that was this quick marinade that uh, if you guys want to try this out for, uh, you know, whatever, just try it out. Try it out. It's the, best. it's the best marinade I've ever made. And it's so good. So try it. This has been a cooking video. I haven't done cooking videos in forever. What is this channel? We don't really know. But watch it. Because I'm here. And I'm not going anywhere. Stay tuned for the next video that could be food, unboxing things, comic book movie reviews or reactions, cruise videos. There's everything. We do everything here. I'll see you guys later. Bye.